Nobody I can think of that could more accurately and colorfully speak to life on the road than the gentleman I'm going to introduce you to right now. His name is Eddie Kircher. He's been a, a roadie, a production manager. He's been on our Incubus team for a very, very long time. All right, Eddie, yeah. say hello to the folks here today. Hello, everybody. All right, Eddie, you've been doing this for a very long time. Talk about how you got started with your life on the road. Back when I started, I uh, quit high school because I didn't do very well in it and worked for some small bands, just playing clubs, you know, making 10 bucks a night, $20 a night. And then uh, one of the small bands I worked for opened up for um, the Tubes. Nice. And I met somebody there and they were telling me how great of a job it was and to take it serious. And that person led me to some better paying jobs and some more responsibility. And I just kept going. And uh, when I started, I started out as a backline tech, guitar technician, and worked my way up to wearing the daddy pants. The daddy pants, which is, now the, we'll talk about the daddy pants in a bit. Tell me some of the bands that you've worked with over the years. Do a little name dropping, Ed. Well, I used to, uh, in the 80s, I worked for Metallica. Um, I worked for uh, Kansas, um, 38 Special. I worked for... Uh, the Outlaws, and then in the 90s, I moved into the Faith No Mores and the uh, Cranberries and started with the Deftones and Cold Chamber. I mean, there's a ton of bands I've worked for. And uh, the last 10 years, it's basically been just Incubus or System of a Down or the Deftones. You have spent the better part of your life touring around the world, not just here in the States. My, talk, whole, my talk whole adult life. Yeah, let me ask you, how is that, you know, you, I know you're married, you have kids. How has that impacted, you know, the romance of, of being life on the road and the reality? How do, you, how, how do you reconcile those two? Third marriage. It's been <laughs> the longest marriage. It's been almost, in fact, our anniversary is this Saturday, going on 19 years. But um, I married someone I worked with on the road, and that's the one that lasted. Interesting yeah. stuff. Um, when, when you're, when you're talking, if you were giving advice to a young band today, Eddie, given all the experience that you've had, um, in, in preparing them for life on the road, what would you tell them? If, if and I'll say that on two levels as a band, if you're talking to a band and if you're talking about to somebody that wants to be a, a professional that working with a band on a tech side to, to make it right, to be creative and to be fun, you have to be very organized chaos. If you can understand that yep. saying, it's uh, got to be organized to the teat, but it's got to be chaotic enough to be creative and be fun. Do you miss being away from home, Eddie, or are you just so used to being in that bus that it feels like home? Um, it's I got to be honest with you. This is the first time I, I'm, I'm staying off the road for a bit until Incubus decides to do something that's kind of kind of going in my latter years of just being able to pick and choose what I want to do. So with me, the pressure is off. Um, Ten years ago, to pre even up to a few years ago, the pressure was on to always make sure there was a gig after my gig was done. And sometimes you have to take gigs that you don't really want to do. Let me ask you about that. You know, without mentioning any names, you know, not all bands are created equal. You and I have both met some wonderfully talented people over the years that um, whose talents were basically musical not necessarily people yeah related. I, I got i gotta say something about incubus to this day it's excuse me please may i and thank you from the band and the band and with that kind of respect why do you we don't even have we, we never have a we never have a, a in fact we have people that used to work for us begging to come back yeah. <laughs> yeah. i think the things that eddie just uh mentioned if I were giving advice to musicians, um, you can be creative, you can still be professional, you can still be respectful, and, yes. and you can still be appreciative of the opportunity you have. I've witnessed so many people over the years that have had a sniff of success, and I hope that every one of you folks watching today, whether you're a musician or a young industry professional, can have some success in this business. But I would also counsel you to take heed to what Eddie just said. I, keep I, your I, humanity, keep your respect, 
be a professional. It's okay. You don't have to be a drug addict throwing TVs off no. the roof. That never added to the creative process. It just I've, added to the drama. I've seen that destroy some creative people. Yeah, literally and figuratively. Before we leave, we have to have one. It's the internet, Ed. Give me one great rock story, rock road story. Everybody wants to hear them. They all wonder what the fuck is going on back there. Eddie, take it away. Give me, but not, not Incubus. <laughs> okay, no Incubus. All right, one of the really, oh God, there's so many of them, Ren. Yeah. I can't, I mean, I've done some really good tours in the 80s and there was, there was a lot of wild debauchery going on. I mean, I've been on one tour where we had an after show party and the, the the person that met well the thing that met everybody at the front door was a sheep and we shaved its ass and painted a bullseye on it. <laughs> so that'll just let you know what type of party it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's just one of the ones Eddie can talk about. I I have a few. I never the, the sheep boy, that one that, that gets me a little nervous, Ed. Jeez. Woo, yeah. you know. If you folks are looking for a great production manager. There he is, Eddie Kircher. I kid around. That we'll talk about budget later in another session of this, but I've never seen a guy like Eddie. If I roll the quarter across the floor, Eddie could tell you the date on him. That's what we love about it. Okay. <laughs>